Traveling during pregnancy is going to be more challenging than usual, because of all the pregnancy symptoms and physical limitations, but is still possible. You will need to do some planning, in order to guarantee that your vacation is both safe and comfortable. In this video, I'm going to give you some proven to work tips that will save your life this holiday season, with your plans for traveling while pregnant. If you enjoy informative videos for pregnancy like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel to be notified when I upload new videos. On average, the best time to travel overall during pregnancy is the second trimester. In the beginning of your pregnancy, you may have morning sickness that make it difficult for you to travel for long distances, or to enjoy yourself once you arrive at your destination. And during the third trimester, you might encounter other issues that might prevent you from traveling, besides the fact that you might also feel tired and more uncomfortable with a big baby bump. So here you have 9 life-saving tips for traveling during pregnancy. 1. Pack nutritious snacks for the trip. During pregnancy packing nutritious snack to eat is very important. Among the snacks you can bring are, whole wheat crackers, pasteurized cheese bites, fruit, dried or fresh, vegetable bites, seeds and nuts, yogurt, granola bars, cereals made with whole grains. 2. Get good rest the day before the trip. The day before the trips perhaps is good if you take it off to rest. And do the things that brings you joy. This way you will feel relaxed and ready for the journey right ahead of you, especially if the traveling time is long. 3. Stretch regularly. Because pregnant women have a greater chance of developing blood clots. Therefore, put on clothes that are loose fitting and make sure to keep the blood flowing in your legs. Whether you're flying or driving, be sure to take pauses along the way. To walk around and stretch your legs. Additionally, even while you are seated, you should flex your toes and point them as much as you can. It is also recommended wearing compression stockings. These stockings can prevent blood from collecting in your lower legs and reduce swelling in your feet and ankles. 4. Choose your seat wisely. If you are flying, choose seats on the aisle, near a restroom. If you are driving to your destination, choose the from seat to avoid getting car sick. 5. Stay hydrated during the trip. Hydration will assist you to avoid developing blood clots, will also help you to not get swollen on your hands, legs, or feet. And will help your organs to work more smoothly. Hydration will also assist with the swelling in your nasal passages, which is a common pregnancy symptom caused by hormones and can make you feel stuffy all the time. 6. Avoid constipation. The best way to prevent constipation during travel is to make sure you get enough of the three things that are proven to be the most effective remedies for the condition, fiber, lot of fluids, and moving regularly. 7. Go to the restroom regularly. By delaying trips to the bathroom, you could be increasing your risk of developing a urinary tract infection or constipation. Therefore, don't postpone, go to the restroom as soon as you feel that you need to. 8. Protect yourself and buckle up. If you want to feel more comfortable while driving, tuck the seat belt's bottom strap under your baby bump. Keep the seat belt's top strap off to the side of your belly, but still across the middle of your chest, where it would typically rest. If you are traveling by airplane, and the seat belt does not fit you properly, you should ask an attendant for an extender. 9. Avoid unnecessary lifting and ask for assistance if you need to. If you want to avoid the hassle of lifting large luggage, invest in a rolling suitcase. A bag that rolls is quite convenient, and if you don't already own one, perhaps pregnancy is the perfect excuse to get it. Ask your travel companion or a member of the cabin crew for assistance in placing your belongings in the overhead compartment, or the trunk of the vehicle. If you're feeling fatigued, or are in a rush to make your connection, request assistance in the form of a wheelchair or an electric cart while you're at the airport. And keep it light, don't overpack. Put only the essentials in your carry-on. I hope these tips are helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.